there can be no victory without defeat. As the third place game of the 1A D1 Girls Basketball State Tournament tipped off, those words couldn't be truer for the Chalice Vikings. Their road to this game paved with adversity. It was definitely a memorable experience for me as a senior. It ended higher than I could ever hope. Um, I think we drew really close this season. It meant more than basketball. That's for sure. Through the 2015 season, Chalice was on a roll. The Vikings locked up the top seed of the district tournament, and Chalice looked like a serious contender for state. But then things took a turn for the worst, as coming back from the Vikings' 57-52 winner over rival Butte County in the district tournament, sophomore Caitlin Ames died in a car crash. All at once, basketball took a back seat. There, it was really hard. I mean, uh, I thought I, I'm a pretty strong person, but that day my emotions were running wild. It was something none of us had anticipated. We were all just super excited. I mean, I remember getting up and I just remembered the game last night and I was like, oh, I'm so excited. I, we won, we did well, and then we got the news. And it was something, I think a lot of us didn't realize how close we were to each other and how much we were ready to be there for each other. And that really brought us together. Their first game back, an emotional Chalice team lost to Grace. The team's hope for state was one loss away from being shattered. I think we kind of overthought that game a little bit. Like, oh, we can't not play good because of this. And uh, I think that that next day, that Friday that we had practice, we watched some film. We talked about how we played and that we did have trouble emotionally. We were all tired. And that we wanted to go to state, that we were going to win that next game. It actually became almost a theme for us that it was for Caitlin. We couldn't finish out weak and we had to finish strong and make it mean something and achieve something from that. And so that was definitely in our minds. Armed with a new purpose and patches with their fallen teammates' initials over their hearts, the Vikings made the state tournament and battled all the way to the 1A D1 third place game against Raft River. Well, the first part of the game, it was just all, we were focused, we were ready to come out, and after losing the night before, we, we had really, we were kind of a little bit mad, and so we wanted to, we wanted to end well. Well, first half was, was unbelievable how they played. And then the second half, uh, you know, the tale of two halves was really what I come down to, but the Second half, I was a little worried there. I mean, they got it down to five points there, start of the fourth quarter. As if guided by the hands of their fallen teammate, Chalice was able to hang on and win. I feel like she was wanting us to do that well. On that day, victory seemed to be more than just basketball. A trophy, just a consolation prize, compared to the memory and the legacy they built for the teammate who wasn't there.